guys doing? Ryan Sonson here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to sprout really quickly, really easily. And actually even the guy behind the camera is doing this, my 17 year old son, Connor. Um, if he can do it, first try, right? Pretty easy? Yeah. Pretty okay, easy. so here's the deal. So basically what you do is um, there's, a, there's a company that makes these, these toppers, um, these, these toppers for just regular mason jars. These are awesome toppers. I recommend this method because uh, you get a lot less growth in your in what it is that you're sprouting, whatever it is, any any type of seed that you're sprouting. Um, and I'll get into, into the seeds in a second here. But look at these; you can see these these toppers. There's there are varying um, degrees of meshing, so you can see that this one's a finer mesh, this is a looser mesh, and the green one is in between. And what we're, what we're sprouting here, you can see these are the sprouts. This is actually one day after the, uh, the soaking. So the first, by the way, the, so the first step in, in sprouting seeds is that you need to soak the sprouts for between eight and 12 hours, typically overnight. Or what I'll do is I'll even just put, I'll put the, um, I'll, so basically what you do is you just undo the top, you put the seeds in here. Here's, this, here's some of the seeds that you would get. You'd get like either, you know, garbanzo, or you get a, a mix from, I use the Sprout House from Amazon, they're really good. Um, they have a um, Holly's mix, and then the guy Soul is really good. There's a high protein mix that's really, really good they have. And they typically sell the seeds by the pound. They're, they're organic, non-GMO, um, and they sprout really, really well. Um, so basically, again, first step is soak overnight, eight to 12 hours. Then you just pour off, Hence the reason for the for the mesh and the to, to obviously catch the seeds. You're gonna to want to use the finer mesh for for different seeds that are smaller. There's some finer seeds here. You can see some of these seeds are super fine. So you would obviously, if you're gonna sprout seeds like that, then you'd want to use this type of a of a meshing so that it doesn't when you pour it, when you pour the water out, they don't fall out. Okay. Um, these would be great for like garbanzo. Um, so anyway, so that's the first step is, is the eight to 12 hour rent, uh, soaking. Then you get up in the morning, you, you pour water on them, you shake them around, you rinse that water off, you, you pour that water off. And by the way, the, that water is great for your plants. Your plants love that water because it's got a lot of nutrients in it. So pour that right into your plants, they'll love it. Um, the other thing is, is that, um, so once you, once you rinse, once you soak, you, you rinse a couple times, like I said, you pour the water off, and then all you gotta do is keep this thing upside down so that it just continually drains. It continually is draining the water out. Um, and what I do is I'll just keep it on my counter, I'll put it in a bowl like this. You just wanna make sure that there's not, there's not um, a lot of water at the bottom where there's no air that actually can get back up into the seeds. You want them to be aerated so you don't get growth of like, mold or fungus or anything like that. But you can see how there's these little nubs right here. So that basically you know, creates space between the, the base of the lid here and whatever it is that you're, that you're laying it on so that there's, there's some air that can get up into the seeds when they're actually sitting there and they're sprouting, okay? So all you gotta do is you just gotta basically rinse. You gotta pour water in here twice a day and rinse the water out and, pour, and, and turn the thing back upside down. That's it two times a day after the initial soaking, okay? So again, you soak for eight to 12 hours, and then from then on, just basically fill, the, fill this thing with water, dump it upside down in your, in your sink, pour all the water out, and just keep it upside down, and make sure that, there, that, that, there's, that there's not an airtight seal here with water or anything like that, that there's air that can get up in there, and you're gonna be, you're gonna be fine after three to four days, You'll see some really good sprouts start emerging from uh, from inside here. You'll see the, the little sprouts starting to come come out, and you can see some of them in there. There's just starting to sprout, and this one literally just started yesterday. But um, and the only other thing that you might want to do is just get a little bit bigger mason jar because these mason jars, this one's I find a little bit smaller. I I you want to basically I have a cycle of every three days where I just basically start a new one so that I've always got a fresh batch of sprouts. I typically eat, you know, I'll, I'll do the 32 ounce one and I'll put two cups of, of uh, seeds in there and that'll last me typically for about three days, just for me. So if you got a family, you wanna get some bigger jars in order to be able to make enough sprouts so that you can feed your whole family, um, if, depending on how many you eat. So anyway, hope that makes sense. Again, soak eight to 12 hours, 
put it in a dark place, they gotta be completely submerged when you soak them, okay? Completely submerged in water. And you definitely wanna fill all the way to the top and you only wanna, you wanna, the ratio of water to seeds initially when you soak, you want about a one to four ratio of seeds to water because they're gonna, they're gonna expand a lot, okay? So soak eight to 12 hours in a dark place, completely submerged in water, and then you just basically rinse twice a day and make sure that it's up to, upside down twice a day so that you so that the water is emptying out and you're gonna be golden after three to four days. You're gonna have some really good sprouts to eat, put on salad, and uh, and have a really healthy lifestyle. All right, awesome, thank you.